Good morning, everybody. Renee here in the, the home office. I, I'm just going to step outside for a minute because like you probably, I've been somewhat riveted to the news and everything the news has been saying, reporting on the election results or non-results as it may be. I've been in suspense. And uh, sometimes it feels like 2020 is almost too much, right? I mean, you have all the things we've been going through with the pandemic and and the racial unrest and the presidential election and locally the fires. And you can feel like it's just been disaster upon disaster. And uh, I kind of felt like I, I needed to visually get away from what I've been looking at inside my house, which is the TV screen and, and the laptops uh, looking for election results. And I needed to get outside and stop looking down and start looking up at the beauty around me, which reminds me of the Lord. It, you can get so stressed when all you do is look around horizontally at the bad stuff that's happening and, and, uh, and you can forget to look up at God and all that he has for us and the fact that he's still in control. And, and that reminded me of something that the prophet Jeremiah did in the Old Testament. There's, there's two books that he wrote, the book of Jeremiah, where he says things like this in Jeremiah chapter four, starting at verse 19. Oh, my anguish, my anguish, he says. I writhe in pain. Oh, the agony of my heart. My heart pounds within me. Have you felt like that uh, lately? I cannot keep silent for I've heard the sound of the trumpet. I've heard the battle cry. Disaster follows disaster. The whole land lies in ruins. So he talks about that in the book of Jeremiah. And then there's another book of the Bible, Lamentations, where Jeremiah talks about his emotional response to all this stuff that's genuinely going wrong in his country. And he talks about how badly he feels he's been treated by God. Verse 19, Lamentations 3, I remember my affliction and my wandering, the bitterness and the gall. I well remember them and my soul is downcast within me. Yet, and here's the turn, yet this I call to mind and therefore I have hope because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I say to myself, the Lord is my portion and therefore I will wait for him. I love the emotional arc that Jeremiah goes through here. Like you and me, he can feel like, man, it's been disaster upon disaster. But then he remembers God is still on his throne. He loves me unfailingly. And sometimes all I can do is wait patiently. So today, if you've been stuck inside, eyes glued to the news, get outside spiritually and maybe physically. Look at the beauty all around you that reminds you God's still on his throne. He loves you very much. And sometimes all we can do is wait patiently. Let's pray that we can do that together and remember to look vertically to God and not just horizontally at the stress all around us. Do that and I know you are going to have a much better day.